this bit that Sal and Richard put together, I thought was pretty good. They called the wrestling show. I didn't even know all these shows exist on the yeah, internet. Yeah, you said this is an internet show. Yeah, internet radio, which nobody can figure out how to get these shows. I, I mean, I don't. There's probably a billion internet radio right. shows, right? I, I gotta find it. I lost it. I'm gonna guess Gary Preview Page One. GP One. See. In white. See how good I am? <laughs> so much fun. The only thing that really saved WrestleMania from being a total disaster was The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. You got to be serious, you know? Let's be a little more serious about this matter. WrestleMania looked, looked about as disappointing in all possible ways as much as Starcade 97 looked very disappointing. Oh, got yeah. two callers. Oh. Both of them are in the 646. How you doing? Hello. Hey, can How you, you hear me? How you doing? Yeah, Jack, am I on? Again. Am I yes, on? You're on. Oh, yeah. hey, how you guys doing today? Good. How are you? Doing good over here. Talk about WrestleMania. I really miss the good old days, you know, when it's like Adrian Adonis. I miss Lou Albano and yeah. Andre the Giant and Bob Backlund and Blue Meanie and, you know, Berserker. And Lou was a really big... Bam Bam Bigelow and... <laughs> Junkyard Dog, and I miss Conquistador, and I miss uh, Spike Dudley, I miss Dory Funk, and Flash Funk, and Haas Funk, and Terry Funk. Okay, and I know. Okay, I know. I know how much you miss there. I just muted you here, you know. And uh, you're telling me what you miss and everything, you know. What was uh, what was your? Uh, as I bring you back on the air, I got to ask you, what's your uh, general general feeling on uh, WrestleMania? Because uh, that's what this is about. <laughs> it was about the wrestling back then when it was Hillbilly Jim and Kabuki and Jerry the King Lawler and <laughs> and when it was Mantar and Manu. Manu. Oh my. Okay, uh, I do apologize there. He, uh, you know, he's just uh, going off names there, and uh, I wasn't going to take that much longer. But uh, this guy brought up Hillbilly Jim, you know. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys are talking about Hillbilly Jim? Yeah. Yeah, he was he was a wonderful he was one of my favorite wrestlers. I remember one time I was in Mobile, Alabama and I saw a Hillbilly Jim uh wrestle that night. And the great thing about him is that he was a man of the people. We went to a bar afterwards and he was drinking beer with us and you know yeah. we went into the bathroom and I sucked his cock. It was huge. He, the guy was just a real good sport at all that shit. I loved him. Big Becker too, man. And he oh, yeah, yeah. Me like a wild yeah. animal. <laughs> Okay, good enough for you. Uh, good enough for you. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna call up and do crank calls. You don't need to be here. You know, this crank. is about WrestleMania. This is not about uh, the things you want to do, buddy. <laughs> Caller six four six. I'm gonna let you back on, but uh, you don't need to be uh, uh, strolling with names. I forgot to mention yeah. Lanny Poffo, <laughs> leaping Lanny Poffo, and oh, one man. man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, good enough for me. You're going to stay on mute for the rest of the show. You know, honestly, if I, if I have to, you know, just uh, take this number, you know, and uh, and uh, present it to uh, one, of, one of the officials, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, you're on the air. Officials. You're on the air. Is this Sammy Ressler? It's me, man. Thanks for picking up the call. I'm sorry about all those yeah, idiotic, no stupid uh, calls before, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, back in 79, I gave Chief J. Strongwell a head job. While Wahoo McDaniels was sucking my cock. Uh, oh, whatever you say, buddy. That's the last call, too. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna let it be known that you're under the name Sammy Wrestler, and I'm going to just basically uh, yeah. basically ask that you be taken care of. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go one step better, and I'm just going to throw the ban on you. You are actually, uh, I'm banning you for a month until you decide to show a better attitude. Uh, and yeah. most of all, I'm hanging up on you, too. Uh, now, you don't get to be here for any of my shows, buddy. Uh, That's just rude. You know, plain rude. Right. <laughs> I'm banning you till you show a better attitude. Uh, th there's no better attitude coming out of those two. Uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of fun, the wrestling show. All right, we've got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words.